Okay, I was thinking the other day about Star Trek, um, Captain Kirk and, and all that bollocks, and uh, something occurred to me, something, something I'd never thought of before, which is that they have Mr. Scott, don't they, and he, he runs he runs a, a good ship, but he has this transporter thing. And whenever they want to go anywhere, they use a transporter, and it beams them places, okay? They beam down to a planet, they beam back up again, they beam onto a ship, and none of them seem bothered about that. None of them seem at all concerned about this transporter. And uh, I'm, I'm pretty concerned about the transporter. I, I've watched a few tra Star Trek episodes in the past, and uh, it does go wrong too fucking regularly, to be honest. I mean, you, 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 you know, it's not the safest form of transport, you know. They reckon you're more likely to be kicked to death by donkeys than, than dying in a plane crash or something. Well, you, you're certainly more likely to die in a transporter crash, if you remember the Star Trek crew, than you are kicked to death by donkeys. But that's not the point. The point is, is that what it does is it kind of dematerializes you and then it recreates you somewhere else. And it made me think, you know, would people actually be happy with that? Would you be happy to be dematerialized and then rematerialize somewhere else? So would you actually feel like it wasn't really you? Um, certainly people who, <clears throat> certainly people who are like dualists who believe in like an, uh, um, a, 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 an egg, sort of existential soul, you know, a soul that's, um, that's not within the the person. Um, they're, they're not going to be happy about it, are they? Really, because the the new the new thing is just going to be some kind of droid, some kind of bot. It's not going to be the real person. It's just going to be this kind of bot. But let's forget about that. Let, let's imagine that, that that you don't believe that. That um, you take a, a non uh, sort of theological position, and, and that that basically you just believe that we're a collection of atoms, albeit a very clever collection of atoms. Should you still be concerned by it? Well, well I, that's what I believe, but I'm pretty much concerned by it. So let me tell you why I'd be concerned by it. And, and, and in a way, you shouldn't be concerned by it, because if, you, if you're mapped out atom for atom, it is, it is literally going to be you, isn't it? I mean, it's going to be exactly the same. I mean, the atoms themselves don't matter. You, there isn't an essence of, of Noel Plum 99 in the atoms that make up my body. They're just whatever, you know, um, elements they are, but, but it doesn't really matter. You could replace place each atom with a, an atom of the same um, uh, isotope of the same element, it wouldn't make any difference. So why should it matter? Well, let me, tell, let me give you an example. This is what I started thinking about. I started thinking about, right, what about then if I was going to transport myself from here to, to right next to me, just over, just over there, okay? So I'm going to, that's basically what I'm going to do. Um, w would I feel happy about it? Well, I probably would, but let, let's imagine this, okay? Let's imagine I... I rematerialized over there but the transporter went wrong and the original of me didn't disappear the original of me stayed there so there's the original me and there was the new me and then the new me fucked off to make a cup of tea and and i stayed here the old me stayed here and then the, the mr scott comes up to me and he goes oh no plum 99 there's been a fuck up with the transporter um i'm gonna have to shoot you in the face and kill you uh, but don't worry about it there there's a you you're over there having a cup of tea do you know what I mean? You'd you would you wouldn't feel happy about that. You wouldn't feel um, mollified that there's the new version of you. So it doesn't really matter that he's going to shoot you in the face and you're going to die. Um, you'd still feel no. I, I I'm quite happy with the me. It's it's like the, we need a kind of continuity to our lives. You can't take you can't just break yourself down and build yourself up again and you'd be happy with it. Um, and, and, and that, to me, kind of sums up this, this um, Star Trek problem that I've got, you know?